Hi guys, and uh, this is going to be the last question as far as partition of planes is concerned. Let us get started. Um, the top view of a plate, the surface of which is perpendicular to the VP and inclined at 60 degree to the HP, is a circle of 60 millimeter diameter. Well, there's the plate. Okay. And when that plate there is a plate, when that plate is kept at an angle of 60 degree, it looks like a circle from the top. Okay. So this is slightly, slightly confusing. Appears as a circle of 60, and there is one more question. And the theta surface has been given as what? 60 degree. Okay. So when this surface makes 60 degree angle, it seems as if from the top it looks like a circle. Right. So we have to draw the front view, top view, and true shape of the object. Let's just do this quickly. And you guys will be confused at what I'm, what am I doing? You will get an idea as to why I'm doing this. Okay. Now, if you see this, this this is a plane surface, right? Now, this plane surface is absolutely perpendicular to the vertical plane. And if I keep on, suppose we are watching this, this is a rectangular plane in fact, if you are watching this, uh, this is initially parallel to the horizontal plane. If I keep on increasing this angle, okay, a time will come when this rectangle would look like a square. Similarly, similarly, there is, a, there is a certain object which on increasing this angle uh, and at a certain angle it looks like a circle. So this object is nothing but an elliptical plate. Okay? An elliptical plate uh, which at an angle of 60 degree looks like a circle. Right? So let us do this. I just make the 60 degree angle. Done. Let me correct these lines. Okay. This over here, this point one dash, this should be point, this is one dash, this should be point two dash, eight dash, this should be four dash, six dash, and this one is five dash. One thing which we have left is this one. Okay, front view done, top view done. The only thing left is true shape. Now, we know very well that this object is in fact an elliptical plate, but from which view are we going to observe the true shape of the object? It is because when you look at this object from the top, it seems as if it is a circle, but ultimately, we have to find the true shape of the object, and to do so, we have to look at this from here. When you look absolutely perpendicular to this plane, you have to look at this from here. And when you do so, you're going to see the true shape of the object. Okay? What we're going to do right now, we're going to do this. If you put a mirror over here, what will happen? Mirror will have the image. Okay? This is the plane of the mirror. If you put a mirror over here, then the image will be formed in this plane. And when you rotate it, okay, this is where a final true shape of the object can be seen. So that has to be done. Let us see how that can be accomplished. Doing so, you have to draw a line absolutely parallel to this. Okay? And then With the help of your many raptors, you have to make lines perpendicular to this line. Okay? Keep your raptor here, tighten the screws, and then fill all the points 
into this. Now, in order to locate the true shape, I uh, just check what I am doing. 1 to 5, the distance from xy. This is the xy line. And this one is x1, y1 line. X1 and Y1, X1 and Y1. Fine. Distance from X1, distance of 1 from X1, distance of 1 from X1, Y1. Distance of 5 from X1, distance of 5 from X1. This is in fact 0.5, this is 0.1. Okay. As far as 2 and 8 are concerned, in this line you're going to have 2 points, 2 and 8. And uh, first of all, let us locate 8, 8, 6, okay? Distance from x, y is distance from x, 1, y, one. this is how you have to locate the points. So this one over here is for point 8 and this one is for point 6, right? Now for point 2, distance from x, y is distance from x, 1, y, 1. Similarly for, and this is for point 4, point 2 and point 4. And finally, we have this from x, y, the distance for 3, this is the distance from 3. That's it. Finished. Is something left about. This is point 3. Point 7 is left, I suppose. Oh, yes. Oh, that's it. That's it. We are done. This is, in fact, the true shape of the object. Fine? Thank you for watching the video. Let us again meet for projection of solids. Okay, thank you for watching.